The following video is approximately six minutes long and includes audio description for people who are blind or have low vision. Title card. This presentation was prepared under federal financial assistance provided by FEMA's grant programs directorate, U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Points of view or opinions expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official position of policies of FEMA's grant programs directorate of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Title card. Cal OES logo. Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Host in wheelchair. Hi, I'm Richard DeVelder. Chief of the Office of Access and Functional Needs at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. I'm speaking to you today from the California Center. State Operations Center. The typical response during Classroom an earthquake, children climbing under drop tables. cover and hold on, may not be the right choice for those of us who have disabilities or are older adults with other functional needs. Office during earthquake. Earthquakes strike suddenly, without warning, and they can occur at any time of the year day or night. Map of US Nearly every zones. state and territory in the United States Seismograph. is at moderate to very high risk of earthquakes. Post and office. In the event of a major earthquake, the damage they can inflict could include power outages down power lines. and down power lines, Building on fire. gas leaks, fires, Building rubble. broken windows, and falling objects, which are dangerous for everyone man in wheelchair. and can be a greater threat to people with disabilities and older adults. Elderly man on news. We must plan Ambulance. for our response as if no one is coming to rescue us, Police car. because they are not. It is unrealistic to believe that there are repose. enough resources for everyone to receive assistance. Post and office. Those of us who have disabilities or are older adults need to adapt earthquake preparation and response as the decisions we make could save our lives. The following simulations are an example of what could happen in the event of an earthquake for a person who is blind or low vision. Blind woman on phone. Hi there, I'm calling about the document I just received. I want to make sure it's the latest version. Office cubicle with sight dog on pet bed. Earthquake. Oh, earthquake. Nina, come! Baskets and folders fall from shelves. Come on, girl! Come on! It's okay! Come on, Nina! Come on! Come on! It's okay! Come on! Let's get... Sight dog crawls under desk with woman. Let's get safe! Let's get safe! Good girl! Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Let's go, Nina. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Woman and dog get out from under desk. Host at Woman's Cubicle. How'd it go for you and Nina? It went well. It was a good experience. What is the message you'd want others who are uh, blind or have low vision? I want people to be prepared. I want them to have a plan and be ready to act on their plan. And also make sure you include the plan service animal. Definitely. Can't forget your service animal. New scene. Man walking outdoor with sightseeing dog. Oh, I think it's an earthquake. He cowers down over the dog and covers his own neck with his arm. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. I think it's over. Here, glass. We gotta Man go. and dog walking past glass on sidewalk and toward down power stop. line. Stop! There's a down power line! Man and dog stop where they are. Host with man and dog outside building. What is the message that you want to give to others who are blind or have low vision when they're out in public and an earthquake hits? Well, there's three things that come to mind. Uh, number one is to take cover. Try to get yourself and your service animal and take cover, cover your heads. Number two would be to make sure that you hold on to your service animal in case they are scared and you know they, that way they don't run away. Number three would be to, as soon as everything settles down, to try to get to a safe location and definitely ask for assistance if you need it. Post an office. We have just seen an example of how a person with a disability or older adult should respond during an earthquake. Have you thought about this scenario? and made preparations for what you would do, let's always remember that we are not helpless and we can take control of our plan and our response. Ambulance. Act as if no one is coming to rescue you. You are in charge. A simple buddy system is not enough. Lady helping man in wheelchair We need to build a support team, which include neighbors, coworkers, friends, and family. Have practice sessions with them to ensure that they can help you Know what you need and be able to quickly provide instructions to others on how to assist you. Plan for all disasters. Think about what needs you would have after a disaster. Man drags himself on phone. Would you need to evacuate or shelter in place? Use texting on phone. What if technology fails? What if the power goes out and you no longer have cell service? Cell phone. No service. Then what? Two girls under table. If you have a family member room with signing. specific emergency preparedness needs, think about all the different scenarios that could affect them. Be realistic. The office. government does not have enough resources 
and responders to help Child everyone. In loading in van. If you need to evacuate, how can you leave the area? Man in wheelchair what if stairs. you cannot independently get downstairs? Do you have family, neighbors, or friends to assist you? Practice with earthquake drills. To know it is to do it. Being ready to evacuate or shelter in place is the key to staying safe in an emergency. emergency items. In your plan, don't forget to build an emergency kit with essential items you need to keep with Backpack you. Being put in closet. This includes medications, Pill bottles. any consumable medical supplies, a whistle, whistle. and something very important, Thumb drive. a USB drive that includes important documents driver's like license. your most recent medications, copy of your driver's license or ID, emergency contacts. Post and office. I really hope you take this to heart. This is about you saving your own life. Cal OES logo and web address, www.caloes.ca.gov. End of video.